Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to Remothered Tormented Fathers. I don't know what the fathers did, but they're tormented as f <laughs> This game was suggested to me back when I was playing at Dead of Night. It was suggested to me by Century Countess 4949. So thank you, Century Countess, for that. A couple of days ago, I had my 500 subscriber celebration live stream. If you were not there for that, you missed out on a fun time. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know when I'll be going live again, but you missed out on a good time. We made some adjustments to the milestone headpiece during the live stream. We gave him a little clown face. We decorated the hat with one of my favorite colors, and we gave it some glitter. So uh, also the ear piercings as well, and a little nose ring. So again. If you missed out, you you missed out. I mean, the video is still up. You can go check that out if you want to. But this is what to expect out of the milestone live streams. So I hope to see you at the next one. So is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness, it thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? At the, the beginning. Preferably. Please and thank you. <laughs> I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear, I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. Did you happen to run into and PewDiePie so while you were out there? Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. I have no idea what just happened. I don't know anything about this game. I wishlisted it, bought it, and I also bought the sequel because I was recommended to play the sequel after playing this game because this one ends off on a cliffhanger that leaves you with a lot of questions. So then playing the sequel fills in all those gaps. So I'm definitely gonna be playing both. Hopefully the series makes it to its completion. I usually don't stop playing games halfway through, but if I don't enjoy them, then obviously I'm not going to push myself to finish it. I don't know. I, I like horror games, though. I might enjoy this. We will see. From what I saw in the screenshots and in the trailer, it should be an interesting tale, for sure. Hey. Is this copyright? Not that it matters at the moment, but like... This 
This game is also from 2018. Uh, the sequel came out, I believe, in 21 or 22. So, not that that will have any effect on how I feel about the game, but just to let you know. The sky looks clear as hell. Where the <laughs> Where is the thunder coming from? Is it gonna rain? Interesting start. Okay. like it's gonna rain again but it was clear as day it was so clear outside all right okay <laughs> look at it this game kind of has like a life is strange gradient to it like it kind of looks like that uh the way that life is strange games sort of look honestly though for a game that came out in 2018 this looks pretty nice not that 2018 was that long ago but in gaming standards that was forever ago. Might as well have been on the PlayStation 2. I always feel anxious when looking at some icons. Icons and mirrors. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Which way am I supposed to go? You gave me three paths. Do I go straight? Do I go left? Right? Up? Down? Missing since Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Last seen 4 p.m. at Recreation Ground in... Bat... Cod. Gee, I really love to visit Spat Cod. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Female, white, 13 years old. Light blonde hair, blue eyes, at least. <laughs> Wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes, and tressed hair. Ursons, any informati, are requested to call 74. I can't call the number 74, it won't let me dial unless it's an extension. Why did she ring the doorbell? This place looks like it's been abandoned for the last 20 years. And I should know. Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? I'll just let myself in. Nobody will mind. It's a free country. I'm a white woman. Reach the residence of Dr. Felton. Okay. Get inside the mansion and meet Dr. Felton. So my gamer brain wants me to investigate this entire garden to try and find collectibles and stuff that might come in handy for the rest of the game. But I kind of feel like this isn't one of those games. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> but gamer brain want to explore. Gamer brain is the reason why videos end up being two hours long. Definitely anguishing. Ah, yes, that too is what I do when I'm anguishing. Am I anguishing hard enough? Do I look like I'm in deep anguish? Why knock? If they wouldn't let you in in the first place, you, you are clearly trespassing at this point. So why even bother knocking? Just let yourself in. You've made it this far. There she goes with the cancer sticks again. Don't smoke. I know it's a bad habit to break, but... Yes? 
Good evening. Miss I am... Reed, you already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center of the I Institute. Know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents... I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. So he... I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Falcon hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Why, why is there an ashtray in here if he hates the smell of smoke? That, it's like, that's something that you already know. I cannot do it now. I tried to run and it says I cannot do it now. Why is there an ashtray if Bad habit. you're not supposed to Smoking? smoke? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If he needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But you know when she's home, she listens to the same music. The same song, over and over. Gotta have your favorite tunes, you know? Sometimes I too like to lay a song on repeat, especially if it's been stuck in my head. They say that if you play the song that's been stuck on your head, or if a song is stuck in your head, it, like your brain is treating it as an unfinished task. So it's constantly on your mind, over and over. I'll get back to what I'm saying. This way, please. But you should basically like listen to that song to get it out of your head. Mr. Felton will be here in a few I'm no psychologist. Psychiatrist? Okay. I cannot do it now. <laughs> the coronation of a virgin, the young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storm at are threatens storm are descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. It's just a picture at the end of the day. It can't hurt you. Unless you're fighting Pennywise. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm. Rosso Gallo. Ro Rosso Gallo. Closes danger of contamination. Wyman and Felton's indicated. In, indicted. Wow. Oh my God. Wyman and the Felton's indicted for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971. The Rosso Gallo farm. Pride of the Gallows. Closed due to sus contamination. It has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, top right, her husband, the, notor the notary Richard Felton, bottom right, all right, okay, professor and company's partner, Albert Ilias Wyman, large picture, and under investi are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from 
Is this any of this important to read? That's a lot. There's another side? I'm not... Yeah. Things happened. I feel like I should have read that. Do you believe in God, miss? Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria. Yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea? I'll take a water. Coffee. Espresso. Water? Thank you. As you wish. How Maybe some you, water? Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. Water. A nice cold glass of water. You're diagnosed. 1958. Yes, indicatively, some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency, some hormonal deficiency, overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates, anoxyl. Wasn't it recalled in the mid 60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Uh, I believe so. <laughs> if he thinks it's According easier, to then. The file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, my Mr. daughter- Mr. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? Calm down, calm down. about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate- I don't have the strength for this now! He's either gonna have a heart attack or he's gonna go crazy. The picture might help you two. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. We fucked Felton? up. Do you, do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? I am Jennifer. Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. I fucked well, up. Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me.
You know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Okay. I have yet to have any sort of commentary because, I mean, it's all just been cut. I, I would like some gameplay with my cutscenes. <laughs> I know we're only in the beginning half of the game, but like, god damn. Expository much. That door needs some goddamn oil. Yeah, we fucked up. We're fucked. Would I like to save my game? Yes? No, I'm just gonna raw dog it the entire time. Never save a single time. Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save your game only by using those? Excuse me? Tutorial, flashlight, you can disable tutorials from turning the eh, flashlight is space bar. Okay, got it. Some areas of Felton's Mansion are really dark. It may be difficult to find your bearings. Press the flashlight switch to light up your way. But remember to turn it off if you do not, if you do not want to stick out. Oh, boy. okay. All right. Get inside. Investigate the disappearance of Celeste. Identify the source of the tune. Meet Mrs. Felton. Okay! What does this do? Diversions. You can disable tutorials. Okay. Uh, eyes inventory. Diversions item quick select. Diversion items are used to slow down or distract an enemy. You can take up to a maximum of three. Once you have picked up a diversion item, you can equip it from the inventory or via quick selection. There are different types of diversions. Throwables. Aim. Throw diversion. Place diversion. Got it. Okay. Picked up a diversion item. Do I have like a noise meter or something? Because my first thought is to just run around this place all willy nilly. New collectible unlocked. December 68, happily together. Cool. So I would assume that the more collectibles I find. The more collectibles I find, the more I'll get out of the story? Yo, for running in the heels though, she sure can't keep it quiet. This is a smooth criminal right here. Ooh. Defense, you can disable- okay. Stop telling me that I can disable tutorials. <laughs> I think that that's a part of the tutorial. Thanks to defense items, you can hit your enemy if you have been- if he has reached or stopped you. When your opponent is about to kill you, you can use a defense item by throwing the instructions on the screen. Oh, by following the instructions on the screen. A defense item can be used just once and can only be and you can only bring one at a time. Got it. Oh, there's a hide option. Oh no. 
Yeah, this is gonna be good. When you know it's gonna be good when you have to hide. When they give you defense items. Alright. Doors. Crouch, open door, hold door. Okay, so you hold the door if somebody's lurking. Or if somebody could be lurking behind the door. And then you just open the door. Got it. But this door is locked, so... We can't really do anything with that. This is a power generator. Better not turn off the lights. Not yet! Oh, but best believe when we need to, I sure as hell will. Ha 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 ha! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Okay. Um, I'm causing such a ruckus, like, already. The control panel for the ladder needs batteries. What is happening? Should I be here? The door is locked. Locked doors mean safety. Say it with me. If you've been on the channel long enough, you know. You know the saying. Locked doors mean safety. Holds true in every horror game. It's a small... It's a small goods lift that communicates with upstairs, but the control panel doesn't seem to work here. Upgrades? There's so much going on in this game! An upgrade allows you to improve a feature of the currently equipped defense object. You can only have one at a time. There are two types of upgrades. Damage, stun the enemy for more time, applicable with acid burials. The defense items can be used twice, applicable with the wires of the spool. Well, I didn't necessarily mean to do that. So that's kind of not fair that you did it for me. Okay. Yo, is it coming from down here or upstairs? Oh, okay. Get out of there. It's time to go. Oh, we fucked up the record. Please don't throw me in. Please don't just throw me in. I'm fucked if you just throw me in. I don't know any hiding spots in here. You're just gonna throw me in, aren't you? Oh! Ass! 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 player got jammed again, right? Yes, I know you. You keep on telling me we need to buy the new gadgets on the market. Promise, promise, promise. What are you wearing? Or what aren't you wearing? To you. Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Mm.
Okay, what's my next objective? Getting the hell out of here. There are stalkers in this area. You can decide if you want to bypass him, distract him, or face him. Crouch is control, of course. Remember not to take any, no make any noise. Otherwise, he will put on your, he will put on your tracks. Avoid running or use crouch control or use crouch button to move slight. Try to escape the mansion. Okay, that should be easy, right? I just retrace my steps and go back the way that I came. How will I know where he's at? What is this? Okay. You know, this, this will be easy. I got this. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to escape this mansion. I just don't run. I have my defensive items. As long as the game doesn't hoe me, we should be all good. Will they give me some kind of cue for when he is nearby, though, is the question. Okay, that's a defensive item. Okay, I'm hearing footsteps, but... Okay, we're almost at the door. We're almost there. Just keep tiptoeing in your Jordans, girl. Keep tiptoeing in the Balenciagas. Is it gonna be that easy? It's not gonna be that easy. Fuck. It's not gonna be that easy. Why did I think it was gonna be that easy? Trapped. <laughs> yeah, no shit! Now what? Find an alternative way out to explore the mansion? I have nowhere to hide. I have nowhere to hide. I have nowhere to hide. Hey, buddy. Why are your cheeks out? Bro. Is this smart? This is not smart at all. 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 Hide. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alternative ways. Why are your cheeks out? I can't even look away. <laughs> Bro. Can somebody explain to me why my man has his cheeks out? Oh my god! Okay, wait, what hold on. Hold on, hold on. Dodge! Oh, spin move! I don't know where I'm supposed to go if I'm being chased Dr. by him. Reed. Yeah, Are no, no, no. No, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good. I'm on, I'm on the clock. What? Still here? Ah! No, dodge! Woohoo! Ow! I don't have enough energy. The fuck do you mean? You don't have enough energy to hide? Buddy. Can we just talk about this, please? And thank you. That would be fantastic if you just let me go. Oh my god, come on. Are you serious? Get up. Come on, girl. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up! Oh wait, I have. Oh! Who's playing around in my house? Where's he gonna come? Where's he gonna come from? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm a smooth criminal. He never saw me get away. Woo! Okay. I survived my first chase scene.
So now, where would an alternative way out of the... Out of the mansion be? Can I do something with this breaker box now? Better not turn off the lights. But why? I feel like this would be a perfect time to shut off the lights. We are being chased by a naked psychopath. If there was ever a time to shut off the lights, it would be now. I can't take anymore. Yeah, no, me neither. And I just started playing. I feel like he's coming down the stairs. That's the only reason why I'm hiding right now is because I think he's going to come down the stairs. And I would rather not cross path. Yep, look at that. See? Look. Him and his naked ass. This can't be real. Girl, quit your bitching. It is real and we have to survive. We gotta get out of here. We gotta make it out. We're gonna do it together. But we can't do it if you keep whining and complaining. Shit. And it's crazy too, because she had to wear heels. She had to be the one to wear heels. Heels are like the loudest shoes that you could possibly wear in a mansion. Oh, hello. Maybe I might be able to turn on the projector if only I could find a battery in a film. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, we're back in the bedroom now. I have no idea how I got in here. But this is probably not the best place for me to be. There's something shiny stuck in a tank drain, clogging it, and it looks like a clock key or something. Need to find something to unclog the drain. This must be Dr. Felton's gown. Key items. Key items are fundamental to progress in the story. Missing object. Open inventory to use a key item. Get in front of an elemental or an element with the icon. Okay. Got it. Open my inventory. Key items. Ground floor corridor key. Oh, ground floor corridor key. Okay. All right. I don't know what that's going to be used for, but we need to get back to the ground floor. But let me just check this wacko's room real quick. See if he's got anything of importance up here. Oh, this is how we save the game. Oh, okay. All right. So those are the mirrors with the metronome in front. Okay. In my mind, for some reason, I thought it was saying that you have to look for the clock with the mirrors with metronomes on them. Like, there would be... Like, there would be a symbol of a metronome on the mirror. Okay, I think the music increasing is my tell. That he's here. I don't know where he's at! Ah! Ah! Wait, stop! No! 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 Doctor Fuck! No! Really think you'll get away with this? Ah. Oh my god! Leave me alone! Oh! I threw the. This is not going to fool him, is it? There's no way this fools him. Ground floor corridor key. Hey, what's going on, buddy? What's up? What's up, Mr. Felton? Oh, no. No. I need another session. I, I really need it. Dog. That is not okay. <sighs> this game is stressful. Ground floor corridor key. That wouldn't happen to be this one, would it? Uh, 
No, I didn't think so. Okay, never mind. Do I have? Are there like healing items or something? Cause I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of in pain right now. A few moments later. Shh, shh. Just be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. He saw me. He saw me. Oh my god. I don't have any more throwable items. This is not a I don't have any more throwable items. What happened to all my throwables? Stop, you Bro. Invade! <laughs> yeah, he got me. Oh my goodness. You're, this door is locked. Okay. So this isn't the ground floor, but I still want to try it anyways. Okay, it's not that. So I think we have to go one floor up. For the ground floor. Because this should be the basement floor, maybe. Okay, I think this is the door that I need. This door seems to be closed from the other side. So where's the ground floor door? Ground floor corridor key. What is that? I don't... Maybe I need something to use. Okay. Alright, this should be our door. Nice. Okay. <sighs> okay. Alright. Cool. We're opening up new areas of the mansion. Ah, great. The dining area. After he finds me, he can then chop me up and eat me. Suspected of kidnapping and arson, renowned pre professor commits suicide, unable to withstand the charges. Albert Elias Weeman hangs himself, acquitted, acquitted for the lack of evidence. The community fulminated against him. Their reasons were more than sufficient, however, cover up revenge. Okay, this is a lot of reading. They expect you to do all this reading while you're being hunted. What the fuck was that? This door is locked. Cool. I mean, not cool, but like. Ah! Oh, come on! What are you doing here? Gotcha, bitch! Ring around the Rosie on his ass. Okay. All right. Well, you're cheating. Wait. At least let me save. Let me save. At least let me save. Not now, I have to run. Dodge! Ah! Oh, come on, I pressed F. I'm dodging. I'm effing. No! Bitch! Oh, come on, dude. Oh, this is not where I want to be. The kitchen is definitely not where I need to be. Okay, plunger, plunger, plunger. That's for the, the tub upstairs. Can you stop your whining, please? This is how we're gonna get got. Close that right behind me. Because I am not, I'm not dealing with that. Okay. Uh, eye for inventory, plunger, use. Nice. I found the plunger by a complete accident, by the way.
What is that? Where was that? Find the object dropped in the drain pipe. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to save as much as possible. Oh, wait, what does that say? Restore life. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. But I can still save. Okay. So I can no longer restore my life with that mirror. But I can still save. Got it. That's good to know. That's really good to know. I don't know. I have no idea where that drain leads to. But if I had to guess, I need to go all the way down to the basement floor. Oh my god, he was right there. Oh my god, he was right there. Him and all his old man cheekiness. He could have killed me if he wanted to. He could have killed me if he had seen me. Okay. My money is on the key being down here. Yes! 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 Now how am I going to get it? You're making too much noise. Find a way to raise the... Oh my goodness! With what? What? What do you want me to use? It's probably not going to be something down here, is it? I don't think it's going to be something down here. Find the missing pendulum clock key. Oh, that's what the... I think that's what the thing is. The battery compartment is sealed. It needs to be unlocked from the clock face. That's what the thing I'm trying to get is. Nothing left to eat. I, mean, it's all molded. I think. Get onto the couch. Get back onto the couch. Get back onto the couch. This can't be real. Why is the music not increasing? Shouldn't the music be bumping right now? Shouldn't it be going? Should it not be doing that right now? There's the music. So it does do the thing when he's relatively close. It'll let you know. He wasn't close at all, and that's why it wasn't letting me know. Put some clothes on, please! I want to sleep too, but not forever. I, I just, I want to go to sleep in, my, in the comfort of my own bed. And I'm sure you do too, which is why I think that you should just stop trying to kill me. Okay. Yep, he saw me. He saw me. We're running. We're running. 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 Hiding. Still here. You weren't invited. Ah! Come on. Throw the thing. Throw the. Throw the fucking. Oh my goodness. I think I'm just gonna let him kill you. Oh! Ah! Fucking This is ridiculous. He'll never see me here. <laughs> He'll never see me here. He has no idea where I'm at. He'll never suspect a thing! 
I'm invisible to the naked eye. The naked man's eye. The oven door is stuck, but there are holes to hook up some handle. I don't have any key items. Man, okay. Do you really have to pay attention to everything in this game? Bro, what am I so afraid of him for? I can fight in this game. I can throw hands with the killer. It's not very often that you get to do that. And I'm over here trying to hide away from him. What am I doing? I've been wasting all this time. As long as I can find throwables and defensive weapons as I'm using them against him, there's, there's no reason why I should be afraid of this man. He's an old psychotic man who has his ass cheeks out for no reason. I have no reason to be afraid of this man. Dr. Felton, I don't, I do not think I have the strength or courage to keep up with the story. Therapy is not bringing you anywhere. What has happened today is something serious. I've got rid of the film, reviewing your seriousness. Uh, I've also replaced the battery of the pendulum clock. We don't need the projector anymore. What? Oh, wait. I've got rid of the film, reviewing your sessions of mesmerization. Mesmerization can only hurt your mental health and I wish it would never end up in the wrong hands. Don't try to take it back. I've thrown it in the oven. I've also replaced the battery of the pendulum clock. We don't need the projector anymore. Okay, that's important information. Finding to go through the lost film of hypnosis session of Dr. Felton. Okay, that's important information. So I need to find... I need to find out how to get into the oven. Romine, I'm really not that worried about you. You do startle me, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not scared of you. Wait, what? You picked up metal cable. Metal cable? What does that go to? Metal cable. Maybe the oven? I'm gonna try the oven. Please tell me this is it. No! <sighs> um, okay. Then it's gotta be the grate. I just want to sleep. Buddy, you can go to sleep. I is it is he not able to sleep because he can't find his fucking pills? So if that's the case, we could be best friends. I'll help you find your pills. You and me together, we can work. We can. It's us against the world, buddy. We don't have to fight. <laughs> I don't have to be your enemy. All right, is that is that it? Oh, how is that not it? Metal cable to which an impressive chandelier was hung that broke off from the ceiling of the dining table. Despite numerous gashes, I think it should be able to support the weight. Support the weight of what? Support the weight of what? Now I'm thinking about what things I've come across that need... Did I try using it on the clock? I don't know why it would be for the clock, but... At this point, I'm open to ideas. Nope, not that either. Damn. Support the weight of what? Unless it's supposed to support the weight of the... The dumb waiter. Okay, I need to get back to the basement. Hold on. Hold on. I think I just had a breakthrough. The control panel doesn't seem to work. Okay, then this may not be it. Oh! Okay. It's dead by daylight all over again. Oh, okay. Okay, now I need to activate the goods lift to make it work. So I got to go back up to the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, oh, wow. This is for sure a puzzle game. That's for sure. Making me work for that shit. Making me work for my exit. I'm not scared of you anymore, dude. I hope you know that. I just don't like to be startled, but I'm not scared of you. 
So if I know that you're there, if I know that you're coming, you don't scare me. Oh shit. Go downstairs, please. Oh! He could have. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. That was good. I definitely could have like lost it all there. Not really. I'm glad that this is one of those games where you can fight back. Like I've said, that that immediately makes this horror game a 10 out of 10. But will it hold that place remains to be seen. One thing is for sure though, going back and forth like this definitely gets you familiar with the area. Cause I, I know every floor and what's on it now because of the fact that I have kept going back and forth and back and forth. So before I interact with that, I'm going to save real quick because I have no idea what's ahead of me. Oh, and then I can restore my life because over time. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is worth it. This is good. This is good. We're going to go ahead and interact with that. But that makes a lot of noise. Find and turn back on the oh my goodness okay i'm gonna save and end the video because i've been recording for far too long okay oh hey wow century countess you picked the banger my thoughts on the game so far it's it's kind of slow just because you have to like i'm pretty sure the game is really just this area like it's a it's a bottle horror game so you stay in one area maybe i don't know for sure i'm not shitting on the game or anything i'm just giving you my initial thoughts the game is kind of slow because of the fact that you stay in one area and you have to go back and forth between all these different floors and then you have to find this in order to interact with this but then because i was so unfamiliar with the whole mansion I didn't know where anything was and it felt like I was taking forever to find stuff. Not a bad game at all. Mr. Felton is certainly deranged and insane and he needs immediate help from like a professional professional because there's no reason he should have his cheeks out like that. Number one, he sleeps with his dead wife, daughter, I don't know. He called her Jennifer and that. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on so far, but as far as the puzzles go, I'm figuring out exactly where I need to go and how the best ways to avoid him. Honestly, as long as you have throwables and defense items, you should not be afraid of him at all because you just throw something at him, run away, and hopefully he doesn't chase you or hopefully he's not close enough behind for you to not be able to hide someplace or to crouch behind something because the AI is really stupid. If you, I, I demonstrated that in the kitchen where if you duck behind a table, even though you can see the top of her head, as long as you're ducking, you should be fine. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. I don't know how long this game is supposed to be, but I want to see it to the end. I want to know exactly what's going on. I want to know what happened to his daughter. I want to know why he's so crazy in the first place. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like. You already know where the button is. I don't have to tell you. You guys are adults. If you're new around here, subscribe. It's free. We just hit 500 subscribers not too long ago, and it's only up from here. So, you know, join the family if you're here. If you want to see my last video, which was a video of Dead by Daylight, I will have that link somewhere around here. And then I'll let YouTube recommend whatever you guys watch next as well. Also linked somewhere around here. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. But seriously, though, I just want to know why he had his cheeks out like that. Because, see, I'm 